-hmm. Randy, I've heard a lot about these boats called a rollover boat. Right. But I never thought that I'd get an opportunity to see one in action. You know, before World War II and, and right after the war, most of the duck hunting that I was aware of, you know, my father's era and all, they, they didn't hunt with decoys. They floated on a river and snuck up on ducks. Mm -hmm. And these were sort of the ultimate snake boat for the Ohio River. It rolled on its side, and, and once it was rolled, it looked like a log floating down the river. It was especially effective in high water. You just kept it rolled over and floated along looking like a log, and the ducks weren't afraid of you when you rolled it back up, and then you'd shoot. We'd be right on, right on right it, right on there. Right where he's supposed to be. I got the first shot, and you got him when he's right out there. So you don't roll the boat on its side until you physically see ducks, right? Well, most of the time, if it got fast water, I keep it rolled over about halfway and just drift. But if it's a slow river, our river anymore is like a big lake. What I will do, I will row, and whoever's in the front of the boat will use a pair of binoculars. And when they see ducks, then I tend to back in, move to the back seat where I've got my wide paddle, and I usually have it stuck up in the gunnel, so it's real easy for me to get to. And once I roll the boat over, then I just see gently paddle down on them and, and and you don't part of this is about not being in a hurry which I kind of like yeah if you if there's a drift running in the river if you paddle faster than the drift you scare the duck you look unnatural yeah so you want to look natural and I like to get right out if there's drift there I like to be right in the drift I like a bunch of junk around me okay. it's, it's like, sort of like it hides you and sounds is your enemy Mm -hmm. I mean, a duck will hear you set your paddle in the bottom of the boat. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I just release the paddle when I'm sculling on my last stroke, just let it go and worry about the duck. Okay. I think a lot of duck hunters don't understand how well ducks hear. Yeah, yeah. And they don't, they try to build some of these boats out of aluminum, I was told, and they wouldn't work because of the sound of the waves hitting the boat. You're telling me this is kind of unique to Kentucky. As far as I know, most of these boats were built in the Louisville area. I also have had a lot of references to boats around in the Henderson, Owensboro area. There was boats in that area. Then there were some of them all the way down to Cairo. Now, whether they had builders down there or not, I don't know. The builders I know about were all from Louisville. There's a simplicity to this that I'm, I'm a little bit shocked ever faded away. I'm, I'm shocked that more people don't look at this and go, wow, I don't need 15 decoys, I don't need to build a, an area. I'll just go get them wherever they're at. You know, I think one of the reasons for that may be, and my sort of experience hunting ducks, my father and his cousin, and there was, there was rollover boat hunters around. From about 1960 up through the, the mid 70s or so, there wasn't hardly anybody hunting ducks in this piece of the river. I hunted decoys and these old boats, and I knew every duck hunter in the river. I'd see somebody there, you know, you knew you were gonna know them. So I think there was a generation in there that, that just wasn't hunting ducks as much and lost interest in it, and, and these things sort of faded into obscurity, and the people who made them, you know, to sell them, they died a long time ago. The beautiful thing about this, you sit in a blind duck hunting, you see the same terrain all day long. In this situation, you're kind of exploring. Well, and what's really funny, None of the wildlife on the bank is afraid of you. Yeah. There's one particular bank we roll over, and uh, not this past year, the year before, we killed four coyotes off of that bank out of this boat with a shotgun in less than 15 yards. If the wind is right, they, they don't even look at the water. Squirrels don't look at the water. Turkeys don't look at the water. Nothing on the bank is afraid of you. It's really, really interesting. Really incredible. Deer aren't afraid of you. I mean, you just, I roll up on them and holler at them. And, the only camo that you really need is you need to have something on your head and that's it, right? That's it. I mean, because everything else is being hidden by the By, by the, the boat. The and you really, you really don't want camo because it doesn't look right. Everything that's in the river, notice the color of the river, how yeah. it, the water, how it matches the outside of the boat. Yeah. My outfit's always sort of the same color. At the angle that I was at, leaning completely on the left-hand side gunnel, the only way that a duck could have seen me, it had to already been in flight. Correct. Well, Randy, I have to say, this experience has been a lot different than what I was expecting. And I can think of uh, many hunting situations where using a rollover boat like this would, would be a great way to sneak in on some game. Oh yeah, I, it's a, it, it works real well and you can, squirrel hunting is, is big fun out of it. I'll tell you what. I, I just enjoy the scenery and I like watching wildlife too. My next step is I, I think I'm gonna try to get out here in the boat with you at some point in time, maybe take some game. 
That'd be good.